How do you do, dear friends of science? And hello, you sly sci foxes. Chemistry is a study of matter and its changes. This includes natural occurring matter as well as new materials which have useful properties. Today we want to produce such a new material, starting with guar gum, a vegetable product, and from alum, a mineral. We want to synthesize a material that is viscoelastic, showing both liquid and solid properties. Well, we can just call it slime. But let's stay for a little while at the raw materials and look at them more closely. Guar gum is made up of galactomanose, a substance that is similar to the carbohydrate starch or to cellulose. The chemist calls it a polysaccharide. Guar gum is used as a thickener, for example, in ketchup or in pet food. The molecules of the galactomanose, of the guar gum, consist of long change. Think of them as a pot of cooked spaghetti. First, we solve guar gum in water, about 3 grams tablespoon in 150 milliliters of water, producing a very viscous liquid, just like ketchup. We stir the solution for about three minutes and let it sit for about half an hour. The galactomanose solution, I call it in short galacto solution, is indeed more viscous than water, but it is still a liquid. In order to convert it to collector slime, we need to connect the chains together. How do we do that? Well, let's look a little closer at the molecules of the galactomanose. We find that many old age groups sit on the surface of our spaghetti. These can be seen as some kind of teeth. Well, since these teeth have nothing to bite, they do not come into effect. But we now offer something in what they like to bite, namely a dissolved metal, in this case aluminum. At another point with the teeth, they are not very sharp. They are blunt. So we should sharpen the teeth first. Whenever chemists deal with reactions in water, they measure the so-called pH value. This indicates how acidic the solution is. pH 7 is not acidic. The smaller the value, the more acidic. The pH value may be measured electrically or with color paper. In our galacto solution, we measure about pH 5, so it's something acidic. In this environment, our galacto teeth are not very sharp. We need to make the solution less acidic. In chemistry, the opposite of an acid is a lie. We can tell lies because they feel soapy. Lies are used a lot, for example, in concentrated form as the rain greenness. Diluted lies are used for lye pastry and make the good taste of its skin. Here we also see that one and the same substance can have different properties, depending on its concentration. A common lie is sodium hydroxide, caustic soda. It's quite corrosive. Hence the warning symbol on the label. Caution. Before handling such a substance, become familiar with the security instructions. I will give 10 milliliters of this lye into the galacto solution to make it less acidic. Now the teeth of our galactomanose nose are sharp and we can offer the aluminum. Alum is an aluminum compound which forms beautiful crystals. So beautiful that it can be found in each crystal making kit. Alum is used in cosmetics and in tannery. Also some deodorant stick is made of alum. We dissolve 10 grams of alum in 100 milliliters of water 
And now we have everything we need for our chemical reaction. The galactomannose with sharp teeth and the dissolved aluminum to bind. We add both solutions together. Now we get some cross-linking of our spaghetti. Two teeth of spaghetti 1 galacto chain and two teeth of another galacto chain bite into an aluminum and connect the chains over an aluminum bridge. Like two snakes biting into one apple. Our spaghetti chains are glued together and can no longer slip against each other. We produced a viscoelastic material, a galacto-aluminum slime. Scientists call such multi-teeth and apple compounds chelate complexes. We've just synthesized a polysaccharide aluminum chelate complex. This new material has interesting properties. It's elastic like a solid and it can also flow like a liquid and can be colored using food colorants. Depending on the type and quantity of our raw materials, galacto and alum, the consistency of our slime varies. Check out various guar gums and various amounts of alum. Have fun and thanks for watching.